Hi there, it's Karen here. Welcome back to working in Roxy's Weekly Challenge. So it's week mm -hmm, 44, I think. Let me just check my book. I've got to check. I always write it down every week and then I forget. Yeah, week uh, 44, cool journal spots for journals. So we've got um, these pieces of... The, the, these are all digitals. I don't have any old documents that, that Rachel was using, um, but it, but she also used some digital, so um, I thought that's what I would stick with, mainly because I can't, haven't got any choice. Um, and I have printed on both sides. This one's actually got a plane on the other side. But these are, a lot of them are her old letters, one of her kits. I don't know how many old letter kits, but I've got one of them. Um, there's a few pieces here from Pink Monarch Prints. I've got some of her ephemera pieces. So there's a, a few of hers as well. I've got way more than I need because I'm definitely not going to do as, anything like as many as Rachel did. But I was hoping to do maybe to, uh, three or four Christmas and the same in non Christmas. So um, I better get started, otherwise we won't get any done, will we? So what's this? Okay, let's do this one. It's quite a wide one, so that's all right. And I think... I do that on the back because it's very faint, so it could be written on as well, although we're going to add some writing space. So I shall fold that down like that. In fact, I'm going to do all my folding. This is how Rachel did hers. All the folding first and do it kind of uh, mess making style. So I'm just going to pick a few and fold them. So I've got that one. What else have I got? I've got a couple of these, these sort of ones. It's a bit narrow, maybe. Maybe I'll, maybe that'll be okay. Uh, yeah, I'll do that one. So turn that down, and just trying to go for different colours, really. Do that one. Um, that's a nice. Nice one there. Oh, and there's a nice bit of journaling option on the back. It's just a little journal spot. We're going to add a bit of extra journaling, um, an extra journaling page. But if there's a choice to write on the back or use that for something, I don't know about that one so much. What about this? That's a, that's a nice colour. Oh, that's the same. Doesn't matter. But to do that side on the front. Turn that over. And let's do one more. I had a green one in here somewhere. I used it. I don't think there was. I've turned it over. There was definitely a green one somewhere. It's not one of the green ones, is it? What happened to my green one? Maybe I've got, of course, I've got quite a lot of Quite strong sunshine coming through today, so maybe maybe it doesn't look as green in the sun. That one, no, that one. Okay, we'll do this one. Well, that's the same. I'm just trying to vary it a bit. Oh, there, that's the green one. I had done it. There we go. Um, I'll do that one. Turn that over. Okay, so I've got I've got a half a dozen. I think that's probably going to be enough. And I've got a few more things here for another time. She's bound to come up with some other ideas to use these things for, so I'll have them ready to go, won't I? Right, so I thought I'd do three of each. Three Christmas and three non-Christmas. That's the idea. So just thinking I want to do one for my pink journal so I've got some journal cards here that I thought I could just tear down to use one I want one that's got a little bit of color to it because so it shows up against the background so he's definitely an option not so much we used that image already could do these are a bit pale I like the robin and I like the cardinal as well so <coughs> oh, 
here we go again. Um, okay, so cardinal, rubbing. I'm thinking with this one because we've got some nice bright colour at the top and bottom. I might use that. As you know, I have a bit of a soft spot for squirrels anyway. So I think I'm going to use that if I can try and tear around it. No, I don't like that. I've done a rubbish job of that, so I'll have to use that for something else. I'm going to go back to him, I think. And this time, I'm going to use my tear ruler. Okay, I'm going to ink around it. I think I'll leave it, I'll do that and then possibly add a little something either side in a bit of decoration. So, yeah, that was one. And let's put those aside. What else have I got here? Okay, so the next one, I need something a bit narrow. I'm going to go in my little um, ephemera holder here. I'm going to have to pause the video because the sun's come out and I've got this great thick jumper on. And it's <laughs> I'm, I'm boiling now. So I'm just going to take right, Let's find a nice journal cardy thing to go on here. I've got a few cut out ready to ready to go. It's quite a nice one. Oh I like this one. It's a bit big. I might have to tear that down a little bit but I do like it. It's nice and colourful. Let's try that. And to use my just use my normal tear ruler, just take the edge off a little bit. Don't want to lose too much of this lovely image. Just taking that, just a little tiny bit off. Oop. Oh, I'm so terrible at. Oh, tearing. Terrible at tearing. That's me. Maybe I'll use a smaller ruler. Maybe I'll be better with something smaller. I don't know. Okay, I'm just going to have to ink around that. Get rid of those nasty torn white edges. He's going to go on there. Or, just had a thought, would that go better on here? And he's a bit wider, he might go better on here. Yes, I'm swapping them. So I put him on here now. He's a little bit wider. Just takes a little. I think he's wider anyway. Yes, I think they look better like that. That's my feeling. Okay, green one. Green would be good for Christmas, won't it? Yeah. It's fairly narrow. So this is going to be the last Christmas one for now. If I end up being super speedy, you know, maybe I'll come back and do another one or two, but that's not going to happen, is it? I don't do super speedy. All right. Can I cut that down anymore? I've got a few here, but they're all a little bit on the wide side. That's quite nice, could be made narrower. That's going to be... Mm, that doesn't say Christmas really to me. 
that's too wide. I've got any others that might do. It's long and narrow, isn't it? Let's see what I've got. Oh, oh yeah. I like him. I can certainly make him a bit narrower. He will definitely need a bit of extra, extra decoration, I think. I'll come back and do that afterwards. Right, so he's, he's there. I like him. Right, so that's my Christmas ones. Done, yeah. That's a nice one. Anyway, yep, that's him. And then I've got three more here to do non-Christmas. So... One of the images I've picked out, I've got, a, I've got a little pile here, but I definitely wanted to do a lady one. And I thought I'd use this image. I have used it before. She's actually my great, great, oh, great, great, I don't know how many times, grandmother. Uh, about three or four times. Great, great, I think she's my great, great, great grandmother, I think. I've lost track. Anyway, she's one of my ancestors. And it's a, such a beautiful picture of her. She has popped up before, but I love it, so I'm going to use it again. I really shouldn't ink until I've checked the size, How should I? Um, let's see which one she looks best on. Looks quite good on that one, actually. I don't think it works on there. And she's a bit wide for that one. No, that's the one. And then I have two more that I'd certainly like to do. I'm just going to snip off these couple of bits that are bothering me, that are sticking out where I've torn it poorly, as usual. Yeah, just a couple of white bits that were just sticking out a bit too much. So I've got a few things here. I've got some postcards. Um, got a couple of images from. So that goes rather nice on there. I've no idea where this came from. It's probably from a kit. I may have used that. Can go on there. And I did tear this out from um, one of Shabby Dabby Doodles. Well, I didn't tear it. It's actually I've cut it with my. But it's too wide. Might have to do some other ones for some of these pick. Oh, that's quite nice. Too wide. Mm. I've got any that are narrow that I can cut down. These are all far too wide, aren't they? Okay, it's, this is an old postcard. I could tear that down. That's quite nice. There's that one. I'd have to cover up a right good time on your birthday though, wouldn't I? I don't really want birthday greetings. I think I might try tearing this one down. That one is on there. And then this one just needs to be inked around. Oh, I think I might have to take off some of that border because it's going to not leave me much room for my punch, my hole punch. I'm just going to take out the yeah, bit above the gold border. Good, it totally blends in the bits of tearing that haven't gone so well where I haven't quite torn accurately. So I'm nearly falling off my chair here. Let's get on properly and get down to business. Right, so that's going to go on here. Scrapey, 
scraper tool gone. I have to use one of my old ones. glued on. Let's do the rest. So I might just tear that corner off. To match the corner that's torn off my other piece here. Yeah. Then it looks all of a piece. Right. Pretty. Actually, I'm going to put them under my under my big bite temporarily because they're curling up already, and it it's very good at keeping things flat. Okay, it's just got the feet in the right place to hold it down. Let's glue down my lovely my lovely lady, my lovely great great grandmother, or however many greats. I really ought to work that out one day, didn't I? Okay, Santa. Has he he oh, he hasn't been inked? Oh my goodness. How could I have forgotten to ink him? So I've got a lovely quiet Sunday morning. Um, the work all kicks off again tomorrow. I'm going to try and get as many videos done as I can this week because next week, uh, well, the, week, no, the following week, I'm just not here. Almost the whole week for different reasons. So I'm not going to be out, and I won't be here at that weekend either. So I've got a few days this week and hopefully next, next weekend to get some videos seriously under my belt and scheduled in so that I can, um, I won't be around for a good week one way or another. What with outings and hospital appointment and stuff. And we're going away. We're going down to visit our friends in Norfolk as well in the middle of November, which I'm really looking forward to. Love going down there. Oh, yeah. Love him. Okay. Under the, under the big bite you go, Santa. So it's going to be dual purpose today the big bite because it's also going to be punching my holes this page needs to go Is that too tall? No, it'd be fine. Okay. And we might come back and do a little bit of extra decorating as Rachel did in hers. I try to follow her 
schedule of how she does her hers and the method that she uses but sometimes you get things mixed up in your head and uh, kind of remember exactly the process that she went through right so get rid of some of these those aside now what we need to do is find some paper to go in to go on the back so I've got a little pile of papers here of varying some of them are a bit vintagey some of them are digital some are uh, just bits I have floating around so let's see what we've got here so I've got this piece this was from my mother-in-law and it's a touch too long but I don't think it's worth going to be worth um, folding it up I'm just going to let it poke out the bottom a little bit this is one of her manifest books or something I don't know what it was used for she used to be an auditor and travelling around auditing um, what they call them uh, national monument type places which she worked for the civil service and audited all the buildings owned by the government or oh, yeah yeah the little rough edge at the bottom oh yeah we need to put paper clip these into place don't we hold them in so I'll just do that there's one let's get, them. Let's get a few paper clips out ready don't need very many I've only made a few, but there's a few processes so that's, that's why I didn't want to over extend myself and do too many. Right. right, so this one needs a wider piece. So I've got, got a piece of straw paper. Maybe not that one. I've got this a nice piece of that's a nice piece of paper. I think this is also from my from my mother-in-law. Probably. She had lots of art stuff and stationery stuff in her in her house when we were clearing out, so I I benefited. want to actually I can see a little no where's my scissors gone I can see a little bit of white poking out I want to get rid of just there okay that's that one and Christmas one I've got this piece of green. It's not. It's, it's new. It's, it's part of a. And I bought a planner. It came with a whole load of papers. But I did think it would be quite, quite a good one for this. Because it's green. Why not? Let's turn. Let's turn it over. It'd be easier to. Oh, and this one has got some writing space on the back as well. Yeah, the file effects, paper. It's still good for good for writing. Take that off. Pop that in there. Oh, I didn't paper clip the other, did I? You have to remember all these little little bits of process as you go along. Paper clip that. Where did I put them all? Oh, here. Okay. There. Okay. Let's get the rest in. And is 
quite white enough. Mm, it's very, yeah. So you can write on there. And this is some, I think this is the digital, but it's coffee dyed digital. So I'm just going to put that there, I think. Perfect size. There. And this one. Oh, I've got two here. It's a narrow one. I've got this odd piece. Yep, that can go in there. I think I want to um, use the whole length of it, so I'm going to actually tear it to size. Could actually fold that in, couldn't I? Yeah, I might just fold that in so you've got extra width. She did that on one of hers too. All right. So our next job is to punch the holes. Enter big bite. I've had to pull the blind right down because of the vagaries of our, the, our weather. It's now too bright. It's either, it's either pouring the rain or bright sunshine in the, at the moment. And, of course, the last one I did, I actually did in artificial light, which wasn't wasn't brilliant, and I apologise for that. It's the best way I could... The only way I could get a video in that, that week or last week. Um, right, so I've got these now. I need to find some something to tie through the tops tied all together. So I've got a few bits pulled out that I might be able to use. So I have torn a few strips of my lovely Christmas fabrics. And I think this would go, ooh, go on there too. No, I think it goes worth better on here. So let's put it through through the hole. Twist as I, if I twist it as I pull it through. I should be able to get the right side showing. I, tr I managed it in the one I did. I did a sort of prototype to try out. Try it out. Yeah, that's it. Just twist it as you pull it through the loop, and then you get get it facing the right way. And just pull it through. Pull it up a little bit more, so I don't have to trim it that end. I might have to a bit. And, uh, oh yeah. I'm going to twist that one back as well. Right, so I've got it. I've got both pieces facing the right way. Yeah. That's that. 
that. A bit of green on the back. Is it green? No, it's not quite green. No, <laughs> green's on the other one. Um, but it's just hanging down a little bit. But that's okay. I might I might fold it up a little. Maybe I will. So it's hidden. There we are. Looks a bit neater then, doesn't it? Okay, that's that one. This one. Oh, I've got this. Not that. Got this one. I might use that. My all-time favourite fabric, this. Don't untwist on me. Okay. Just trim them down a bit. Okay. And that's that one. And my last Christmas one. What can I use? Oh, I've got this spotty ribbon. Could use that. Cut a piece off. Just trying to keep the get the ribbon to go through the right way. So it's facing forwards. There we are. Take that one off. I've got to take the paper clip off the other one, didn't I? I'm going to fold this up as well. Just to hide it away. There we go. Okay, getting there. Um, what was I going to do with this? Oh yes, I think we need to do some lace on her. What shall we do? I think we'll do... Some pink, pink lace. I wonder if this will be too wide. Just feels it's got that slightly old, older, sort of like a dusky pink, which sort of seems suitable for a, a lady. Of her standing. <laughs> Who knows? I don't know if she had any standing. She looks like she, I mean, it looks like a very expensive dress that she's wearing. Right. So, yeah. And also, it gives a nice pop of colour. I think I will need to add something else. I'm going to leave. I'm just going to trim this a little bit. I'm just going to sh just cut that to a nicer shape. Yep, so that like that. That could go in my lady journal, couldn't it? My lace and ladies. And 
this one. Oops. Can we put through here? Um, wondering. I have got some of this, but it's it needs a bit of colour up there. I think. Looks. I mean, these roses are pink. I think it needs a bit of pink lace. Use a different one this time. Oh, put my pin back in this one. Honestly, sometimes you think we live by a racetrack. There always seems to be a motorbike zooming up and down the high street. This is a paler pink. I think it goes quite nicely with the pink roses. Actually, I'm wondering, as I'm doing this, I'm going to tie it, but I'm thinking I might prefer some sari silk. I'm wondering about this, this pink sari silk, which of course I can't find the end. Oh, there it is. Would that actually be a little bit more, add a bit more colour? Yeah, I think I might prefer that. I can use the lace somewhere else. that one and our last one here I wonder what this needs I'm just thinking sorry silk might be quite a nice one here as well I I'm just wondering I bought some some new sorry silk recently and I've got this gorgeous gold color I wonder how that would look this is from um, Sue's Country Creations I bought before from her. I've got a couple of Etsy shops that I tend to buy to buy from. My goodness, look at this! Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> well, there's the end. Would that be too bright on here? Oh, oh, I do think it goes rather well actually, but I might cut it down a bit down the middle because it's quite wide. I'm going to cut it because I'm a bit I'm a bit nervous that if I start tearing it. It'll just fray to pieces. Put that back in the box. Oh yeah. Just to angle the ends. <laughs> I didn't intend to do it that way. Right, so I think this does, this bothers me along here, so I'm just going to ink that. I'll probably ink around all of them, but I won't do them all on camera. It was just really bothering me, that one. So I think with the, because it's quite a big... Um, image on here and um, with the lovely bright sari silk. I don't think it needs anything else. I'm going to leave that as is. Let's have a little look. This one needs something. Um, I think it needs something here. 
might get some trophies. I've got. To, I haven't really got any of my non-Christmas things out at the moment. <laughs> well, I was looking for for Florentine papers. Didn't find them. They're there somewhere. But I did find this, which is the Shabby Dabby Doo Essential Basics, and I wondered about a uh, a word. Oh, just seen a word I like. I might just pop on there. And that's harmony. I can just get get my scissors. I think harmony would be quite nice for this this little piece. So decorating these three is going to be a bit more challenging because I've just surrounded myself with Christmas. Oh, what am I saying? Harmony. Yeah, like that. I'm not sure whether it needs to go on a bit of book page, so I thought I'd just grab some and just try it out. sure that actually helps it at all. The other thing I, I found was some washi tape, washi tape strips. So maybe something like that would be, except they're all orientated the wrong way. I've got a few already cut here. I wonder if one of, one of these would just give it a bit of it may not need anything. Now they're all a bit. Maybe it doesn't need anything. Maybe that's enough just there. I think I will. I don't think I'll do anything else to it. Although I am getting another urge on the decorating front, which you won't be surprised to hear is a bit of lace. I actually had a thought about this pink lace. I might put a bit of that across the bottom there. Does it need to be? So I'm going to put harmony there and I'm just going to put these bits out of the way. I'm going to pop that piece of pink lace across the bottom, or a bit of it anyway. Just felt it needed something down here. Okay, that one's done. Yep, I'm happy with that now. It feels a bit more finished. Okay, about you, my lovely grandmother. M multiple times removed. About some of these bits of... washi tape. Put a bit down there. Mm. I'll take a word. 
words are not vertical words. Mm. No. I don't think these words are quite what I want. No. Determination. I think I might put that on there. She looks quite a determined woman, doesn't she? Where did that odd little bit of pink go? I think I'm just going to put that on. And call that done. I don't think that was on label paper. No, well, I'm not going to even try now. <laughs> right, so I think I'm going to call her done. Um, where'd I put them? Over here. Okay, and now we'll go on to Christmas. I feel I'm, I'm in safer territory now. I've got plenty of Christmas decoration stuff around me. Okay. Right, Santa, what, who, what, who, <laughs> what should we give you? And I think we'll have a look at some. Well, I think I'm going to try and get some, put some, I can't. I can't speak. Florentine papers. Get my Florentine papers out first. Maybe put a piece of that because I love it. We're going down a bit of a green theme, aren't we, on here? Just wonder about that. Just because it's a little bit on the plain side down there. So, yeah. I think we might need something up the top here, some sort of word or phrase. Put that there. And what have I got? Oh, excuse me for leaning across. Still got my little labels that I haven't found a home for yet. These are my Roxy Creations labels. I need to sort that out. I may have to make another ephemera book the way I'm going. I've made one, and a new one, and filled it with vertical words. And I don't think vertical is what we want here, or is it? Hmm, maybe not. Oh, I've got Dear Santa. <laughs> is that big enough? sized centers no good tidings he could be saying that what just 
rim it a touch. I did turn this back on. Yep. Sorry. <coughs> Paranoia rules. Keep keep worrying. I haven't turned the camera back on when I've turned it off, or it's gone off by itself. Oh, yeah. Corners. Let's do our little corners. Just softens things a bit, doesn't it? And it is when with these small things, it's easier than trying to get it into the. Um, corner, corner punch thingy, which is temperamental at the best of times. That's it. Okay. How do I get myself into such a mess? I don't know how Gail crafts when she always seems to be in a big clear space. I know she's often got stuff all around her but she always managed to <coughs> do her videos with lots of clear space around her and I would I would love to be able to be like that. And I always try and start that way but I just can't seem to keep it up. Put it on that side. I've got the paper on that side as well so and if I need to put a little tiny bit something, <coughs> excuse me, a little bit done, something down there to balance it a little bit. It just feels a bit one sided at the moment. If I can put that there, maybe not quite as much. Does that help? I think it does a bit. Doesn't need much. Just felt it was a bit unbalanced. Just a tiny little scrap down that side. There, that's better. Okay, so that's one. This one, so all of these are going to get inked around as well because they really need it. Um, but I don't know if I need much here. I've already got a Merry Christmas to you on there, so I might just put something up here. I think what's this here? It's got this piece of it's too big. Uh, I'm not gonna have to look in my box of words again. Just spotted something that might work. Oh no. I said I just said I've already got a word on here, didn't I? It's already got a phrase, I don't need more words. Okay, um, ephemera book. Okay, I've got some dreams, etc. stuff at the back here. If I've got something nice and small, that might just be all I need. What's this? I think that might just be just be enough just to give a little extra something up there. I'm going to go with that, I think. I don't like it there now. 
I want it on the other side. Ah. I think it would look better over here. I think I was distracted by the fact the paper clip was there and it was... I mean, I wasn't thinking of putting anything there, but actually it needs something that side, not that, not the other side. That's better. Okay, I'm happy with that now. And I've got one last one. So this is the one for the pink Christmas. So we need to find something, although I think all it needs is maybe a little bit of pink Christmas sparkle. In fact, I should though, I did intend to put my pink sparkly ribbon on there, not the red. So I might just swap that over and call that done. I love the red, but I think this is meant to be pink Christmas. Right, so my battery ran out at just the right moment, so I gave me a chance to just finish this off, tie my little tie with the with the pink glittery ribbon. I did also add that that little bit of lace that was floating around. I've just popped along the bottom there just to bring all that pink together. And it also gave me a chance to ink around all of them so that I could just show you them completely finished. Although I may add embellishment as I, more embellishment as I use them, I don't know. So there's this one with this on the back. Got the lovely Santa one, it's my fave, I think. Bit of green writing paper on the back. And then I've got my bird. These are all going to go under my big bite to flatten out a bit with some writing, some old writing paper on the back. My beautiful grandmama, several times removed. With all that on the back, and I've just turned this up, but I've got this writing paper, which is a digital, but you could write on both sides, I suppose. And you can also write on the back of this one, that's quite handy. So that's that one. And then I've got this one with the gorgeous gold sari silk at the top, which I think is the real star of the show, really. But yeah, I like this one too, with some folded over straw paper on the back. And then this really pretty pink one with more lace and some more sari silk. And plenty of writing space on the back as well, because you could write here. No problem at all. So yeah, we are. Only, a, only a six, but I think for me that's quite a good number of anything to make in one go. So I'm happy with those. Um, so thank you for joining me today, and um, I really enjoyed this. And I'll see you again soon. Um, not sure which journal I'll be working on next, but it's. Uh, I might do a bit more on the pink Christmas just because I really want to get that done. Um, I've got a bit more of a time, time schedule, or a bit more time to get the other one done. But I'm going to be swapping between them anyway. I'll see you soon. Bye.